Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well and today this is another game for you. So this is a game uh, to review the nationalities or or the countries. So you have uh, the nationality Chinese or you can have uh, China or uh, Switzerland, Swiss or Italy, um, Italian. So what I will do is uh, just to review, I will go, I will divide the class in two. So it will be team one and team two. Then I will ask some specific students and ask him, ha ha, do you want the right hand or do you want the left hand? Oh, you want the right hand. Okay, fine. Which uh, country is this? Ah, oh, this is uh, China. Yes, very well. Then after I will stick it on the board and write down China. And then I will ask team two. Uh, team two, which, which one do you want? Uh, do you want the right hand or do you want the left hand? I want the left hand. Oh, okay, left hand. Oh, left hand is this. Oh, uh, which, uh, which country is this? Oh, this is Italy. I hope it's Italy. <laughs> I didn't make a mistake. Uh, okay, Italy. And then I will write it on, on the board, you know. And... Uh, this you can you do this as well with the PowerPoint, but I think this is much better when you use magnet. Because what I do sometimes, I, I can do it this way. I will stick it on the board. They will all the, the then they will, it, I will leave them on the board, and the students can 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 see these. And I will write the name of the country, and then the students can really uh, see it for during the whole class. Also, another thing that is very good is the students will actually they will touch it. They will touch it. They will really touch it. This is really important that you touch. The PowerPoint is nice, but it's just a computer screen, and it really makes the difference when you, you when you give it to the students. What is it, you know? And you can touch it. So this is something the technology will not give you. You see, you need to touch it. You can put it on the on, on the board by yourself. Also, something that I do for the students who are really, uh, if I think okay, they are not good enough, uh, I will simply write first. I write down the names of the country. For example, I will just today I will just use like uh, Canada, uh, China. Uh, the UK and Korea and the US and Brazil maybe okay so I will, I will write down the name of these countries on the on the board then I will ask uh, the students oh, 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 can you tell can you just go uh, to the board and stick it to the to the correct place oh, this is where, where is it is it USA uh -huh. it's USA no it's not USA it was Korea you needed to stick it next to the Korean or oh, this is oh Brazil I know and you will, the students will go and stick it to the Brazil and then if he wins, he, of course, he will win one point for his team. So that, uh, that's how I'm, I hope I'm clear enough. And that's how you play the game. It's very useful and it's a very great game. And it doesn't cost so much to buy these magnets. So uh, I suggest you, <laughs> you get the magnet and, and you play this kind of game. Uh, take care and see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone.